This is indeed another unfortunate incident. Muslim youth born man alive in Abuja over alleged blasphemy. These Muslim people have come again. We have not finished recovering from the one of Deborah somewhere in Sokoto and now this one again in Abuja. What is this world turning into? What is Nigeria turning into? Is Nigeria now a Muslim state or a Muslim country? A member of vigilante group in the federal capital territory, Abuja, has lynched over, has been lynched over alleged blasphemy against Islam. The incident occurred on Saturday at the Timber Shed Market, Federal Housing Estate, Dubai, in Abuja. Details of the incident are still sketchy as of this time of reporting this. However, it was learned that trouble began when members of the vigilante group, who, were, who was guiding the timber market, moved to arrest some residents wandering around the market. According to a report, one of the vigilante members made a blasphemous comment when the residents were pleading with them in the name of Allah. Upon hearing the alleged comment, the mob descended on him, beat him up and set him ablaze. Are you the federal government? Are you the police officer? Do you have the right to arrest somebody? Or do you have the, you have, do you have the right to beat up somebody? You are taking a life that you can't even make. What sort of nefarious activity is that? The government should come and do something about it. I wonder what our president is doing about it, if not to gallivant the whole nation, traveling from one country to another, or in the name of visiting and your country is burning. How can a man be outside enjoying while his house is on fire? When contacted, the FCT police or public relations officer, Josephine Ade, confirmed the incident. She pledged to give details in a statement shortly. This is really, really sad, very, very sad development coming from the northern state again. I plead with the federal government to do something. You should call their people to order. Is it because Buhari is a Muslim? That is why he's keeping a left ear over this whole matter, pretending as though everything is all right. Christians are busy. They, they are busy, killed every day over blasphemous acts. If truly he is your God, you allow him to fight for himself, not you fighting for him. Because this nefarious activity has to stop. This barbaric activity has to stop. Because it is really, really unfair that you take a life that you, you cannot give. It's really, really annoying and it is really frustrating because if this continues, religious crisis is bound to happen. And when it happens, every part will lose in all ramification. Details of the incident will be conveyed to you people as it gets unfolded.